And I have here a Windows Phone 7 in my hand, or you know, 7.5 actually in this case. And what we try to do is keep, bring the full power view experience onto, onto the device. And you can see here, it's, it's, this is a full power view experience that we have here. Uh, this is not, uh, you know, so this is not designed specifically for the device in the sense that you have to create a special report for it. The same report that worked on the desktop will work here. And you can go and either interact with it here or you can actually change it. And we try to optimize your experience. So because it's a small screen, we actually take that same view and start, you know, make it into, split it into separate charts and tables and so forth. Whatever is showing up on the view you can just work with it. It's still alive. You can still interact with the, you know, the, the slicing and so forth. All working on the device. It is essentially the same code base that is running on Crescent on the desktop, but just running here on the device. Right now, let's, you know, that's a phone. You know, phone is great, but a lot of people have been asking us about tablets. So let's take a look. We'll start with a, with a fruity one here. Uh, so we have here an iPad 2, right? This is a real iPad 2. And uh, uh, you know, so this one also has, you can see, we have here Crescent running. It's still fully interactive. So I can go here and you know do the uh, slicing and dicing and so forth. Just it's the same you know, experience basically yeah. landed in the browser. Landed, you don't have to do anything that you know. It just it works on the desktop. It works you on the iPad. Uh, you're reacting very nicely. You don't have to, if you don't like the iPad, you can try other things. You know, for example, let's try to go with something that is. This is from Samsung. This is the Samsung Tab one. This is running Android and it just looks the same thing, right? So I'm going to go here. You know, again, just touch. And hopefully, here we go, it works, same way, uh, you know, you just have it, whatever tablet you choose, you have it. But there's going to be one special tablet here, okay? And, and uh, one of the things that uh, we've been working on, you've been hearing that Microsoft has, you know, has some aspirations around getting, you know, the, into the real game around those touch devices, you know, you heard about the build conference, and as the operating system guys work on their stuff, we've been working on trying to imagine what, would, what could we do really unique when it comes to those touch devices. So I have here a, a Windows touch device. Uh, this is still Windows 7, so, yep. you know, we, you know, so this is not yet Windows 8. But, uh, but with this one, you know, so maybe we should switch to the, to the big demo. We're kind of seeing this is, uh, so we're going to project it on the screen. And uh, do you guys see it? Yeah, OK. We can. You can. OK, so this is a little bit of an enhanced version of PowerView that we have. We are not going to ship this one in SQL 2000. Well, but it's still worthwhile to see where we're going with this. So first of all, we believe that those devices are very personal devices. You hold them very close to you. You touch them all. The, you know, you're very intimate with them, right? Uh, so, so as an intimate experience, we really try to create a very immersive experience as well. So this is again the movie data set, and you can see here that something is is, is moving on the screen. Now, this is nothing is wrong here with the AV. You know, don't have to worry. They call them. This is. A, we have a smoke effect here, and, and it's, it's, we're trying to bring you into the 1930s smoky movie theaters here, right? So, <laughs> uh, and you can go in here, and you can just, you know, just, I'm just using your fingers here. I'm going to just go and, and touch and switch to other views. And the background will follow you. The background is starting to take a very act, active role here. We call these the active backgrounds. So if I want to take a look at, at comedies, I just touch the comedy bars. I get the comedy slides, but I also get Charlie Chaplin. It's obvious. When I'm looking at the street, I know I'm looking at comedies. I don't have to look at the small fonts here. It's obvious I'm looking at comedies. If I wanted to, you know, investigate horror, just click on horror and, you know, click on, come on. That's weird. Okay. okay that's right. Here we go. Click on whore. And you know, we have here Freddy Krueger joining us for the analysis. Of course, touch devices are not Freddy's thing, but he's very good at slicing and dicing. You know, as a, as a technical fellow, your jokes need to get better. <laughs> Uh, let, let's continue on. Of course, you get this the kind of operation you expect to have. So if you have a bubble chart, for example, I want to take a look at more details. All I have to do is just pinch to zoom, make it a bit larger. It goes the whole screen. If I want to have even more details, I want to kind of go in the, in, and zoom into the axis. I can just go and, and just use my finger to zoom. So these kind of operations are obvious. The other thing we try to do is to make sure that you get this uh, ability to, uh, to do drill downs between the views just with the power of your fingers. So this is a new kind of capability. You can, can work on the desktop as well. Uh, so I'm going to go and I want to get more information about comedies. So what I have to do is just touch comedy, touch and hold, and something is showing up on the screen. These are all the views that we have in this, in this uh, report that can be filtered by comedy. So we have the comedy as a parameter. So if I want to touch one of them, I'm going to touch this, this one here. It's going to come up and it's going to give me all the comedies and the detailed dashboards for each one of the comedies. Right? So just a drill down for one foot to the other, just with the power of your fingers. 
Now, these devices also have special capabilities, like GPS or like cameras. This is, you know, typically that every one of those devices will have it. So we try to take advantage of those as well. So let me show you what we've done with camera here. So imagine that you're work, you know, working, uh, you know, walking in the street and you're you know, seeing uh, a poster of a movie, or maybe you're in the video uh, library and you have this DVD in your hand. And what we've done is we connected, uh, hopefully, hopefully it will come, sometimes it doesn't. Oh, come on. Just do it again. Apparently we are not connected, let me give it a chance. We are supposed to be connected to Bing. Well, well, there you have it. There we have it. You know, something has to go wrong. What would have happened? <laughs> what would have happened is that you would show it the camera, and it will just identify what it is using the Bing image recognition services, and it will actually slice it automatically, so you get the report for that movie, you know, just by showing the movie to the computer, right? Yep. Really well, cool. it's real live <laughs> code here. It's real futures, so anyway. Okay. Thank you, Ted. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you very much, Amir. So a few things we showed you. Where PowerView is going to be in SQL Server 2012. And then moving on with how we're going to be delivering this kind of experience on other devices and other platforms. Browser-based experiences for those other platforms and then a best-in-class experience on Windows.